Hello and welcome back to Boo Polo Channel. My name is Pascal. Today I am going to do a review and I'm going to fit uh, two of these Seagate uh, Barracuda hard drives. Uh, they're 8 terabytes each, you can get them 12 and 16. And I am going to fit them to uh, my computer in a RAID, as a, a RAID 1. RAID 1 is mirrored. I will explain that to you later and I'll show you how to set it up. We will fit them first, of course. I'll put a link in the description where I bought them. I bought them on sale. And if you like this video or any of our other videos here on Boo Polo, please subscribe and support that helps support our channel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the packaging. I'm not going to read the instructions and uh, I'm going to fit a SATA cable and I'm going to show you how to do that if you don't know already. And then we're going to do a screenshot of how to set up RAID 1. In, we're going to, I'm going to do it in Windows, uh, in Windows 11, but it's pretty much the same for everyone. I'll just get rid of all these boxes. You get your computer case, normally it will come with the screws to hold in hard drives because they might be different lengths from different fittings. And uh, I kept everything for what this case when I had it last year. So it did, it has eight screws. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move them aside and take and show you how to do the cabling first. And uh, I'll just move the two hard drives over here, temporary. And uh, we will feed the cables through. Uh, one after the other, you can have to, and that one's pushed in, and you'll hear the little click. And then we'll do the same here. And you'll hear the little click in here. So they go in there, the two of them, on this particular board, they go facing upwards. Now I'm going to turn the case over. With this PC case, we have uh, these little slots that come in and out for holding the hard drive. So I'm going to take both of them out first and put them down, and I will fit the two hard drives to them first. So with some of these, uh, the, the screws will go in the bottom. So these four screws here, as in this case, but they will have a little peg here and a little peg here uh, to go into the slot. And I, I presume that will uh, make it uh, a little bit steadier as well. So you will have to bend this to get that in. I am presuming like that. And over here the same. And that locks in there like that. Now that makes perfect sense, but I'm after doing something wrong down here. I need to slot this in as well. So, like so. And that looks good now. And then all my screws are all lined up here. The four of them here. So I'll take out these eight screws and I'll use a small screwdriver. Do I have one here? I do. And uh, then uh, just be careful you don't touch off the electronics on the back of your hard drive when you're doing it. And then we have the second one done, and that's the two of them. They slot in nice. They will not shake about inside in these cases. And they are really easy and quick to remove. That's the whole idea of them. So now I'm going to move the case over here, and then we are going to, uh, we're going to connect them up. And then we are going to go inside into the house, and I will re screen record and show you how to make these two drives into a RAID 1 or a MERD. Uh, raid. Uh, the advantage of this is uh, that you will uh, you back up continuously all the time. You put a file on on this, on one. It's on the other at the exact same time. If one fails, then if one fails, all the information is still on the other. Raid five is different. Raid five, you will need four drives, and it's not practical really in a PC. You can make a NAS drive with it, which I've done before. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to fit them now. So I'm just going to slot these in now. They go in, we'll put that one in first and make sure it's locked in. And the same here. And they, they just lock in straight away. Uh, then we will put on our SATA power, or we will put on our SATA. Now this, this cable I have here is a, a NEL connector, but it's not going to cause any problem, I don't think so. So then we'll put our SATA cable in here. Yeah, it's a bit, uh, I, I'm going to replace this with a straight one later because uh, it's, it, uh, you can see the L in the bottom. 
You can see the L here, so you know which way they're going, but uh, the L goes, <laughs> you should know, so the, it's coming back this way, and it clicks in, you can feel it clicked in. And then we will get our power, as I said, these two powers are beside one another, which is, makes it convenient, and then what you do is, after that you tie up all your cables. So I will do the one on this side first, because it's furthest away and that clicks in, and then I will loop up this one, like this, and we will push this one down here, like this. And then we'll just tighten that in a little bit like that. So there is not an awful lot left here, so I'll just tie it into this one here that's already built into the, into the, and we can, uh, we can loop it up like this, yeah, something like that. And we will put this through like that and leaves it nice. Leave them a little bit of play. If they're not in correctly, I'm going to change that for a straight one. I don't have a straight one here. A straight one is going to work better there. And everything should be fine now. And we'll put on our covers. So here we have our control panel in place and we are going to click storage spaces. And here we have, uh, it says create pool of storage space and we click that then as well. And there's our two drives there, our two drives that we're just after fitting, they're the same size. They don't have to be the same size, uh, but we're not interested in the formatted ones, we're interested in these two. So we create a pool. As I said, you don't have to have them the same. There's your two, uh, yeah, the total amount you have there. But we will change this. We want to make an ore out of it. Yeah, it's showing what we'll be left with. We have a total space of 14.5, but that's going to be halved, of course, because we are mirroring it. Yeah, if they're two different drives, Windows will still be able to make uh, the driver of RAID drive from Windows will still be able to make it in the small side. Create storage space here. So we click create storage space uh, yeah and uh, it, it oh, here we go it's already done and uh, this is our space here it's s we will change it in a moment back to or and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, yeah I'm going to I think what we'll do is we will uh, no I'll bring you into explorer and let you see what we have and then we'll go back and we will change it then but as I said you can use different brands of drives and different sizes uh, nowadays before they, they, they requested that they be all the same but the RAID drivers are much better now now. So we will click Explorer now and we will see there, there's my, uh, my operating system is on C and D is in storage and then that's a plug-in one then and over here on the right is our new one. I'll move it over a little bit for you uh, here so you can see it. There you go and that's our storage space and it's empty. We click on it. Uh, the folder is empty. Now we'll go back on to our, uh, back to our uh, storage pool again and we, we can see everything the same, but we want to change the letter. So we will click change and then put S and then make OR and change storage space and see what happens. Oh, so now we have it back to OR. I don't know what happened in the first time, but that is also simple and it worked first time for me. So it should work first time for you. So there you go. That's how you make your read one uh, drive on your inside Windows, uh, Windows 11 or Windows 10 or Windows 7, you can do it as well. And uh, uh, I, I'll put a link in the description where I bought them, uh, bought them two budget drives, the Barracudas. And uh, thank you very, very much for watching. And if you like this video or any of our other videos, please subscribe.